Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a magical day and this video makes today even more magical because today we are finally introducing the Elvis artwork. So this actually went through a lot of different, let's say, ideas. At first I wanted to go with how the image was portrayed but then I actually switched to a different background um because i wanted that retro and kind of old but also modern feel because of the fact that he's timeless you can see me like just doodling at some point because i was confused with why i wanted an all red background as well it was a bit too much um i afterwards started settling in some other colors and stuff so the background actually goes through a lot of different <laughs> and weird phases but after a while, it settles into something very specific and just stays like that. I like how it ended up looking, like the background itself. It's pretty nice. Um, and it has, let's say, a mess of colors, but also it's pretty, like, well, like, concentrated in specific spots. I don't know, I kind of like it. I also like the black at the top afterwards. Uh, you'll see it happening once it starts. Um, I quite liked how it ended up looking. I didn't end up adding more letters like I said in the videos I was doing. I liked it with just the Elvis, the king, with the crown on the top. It was pretty nice, so I was like, okay, let's not switch it up. Um, so yeah, you'll see, like, let's say the background first had watercolor and then I added acrylics um, with the roller. And I stayed with the background having the rollers and a bit of black at the edges and that was the background. I don't know, I kind of like it. It has, like, say, a quite pattern-ish look, whereas the actual artwork of Elvis is quite um, made in a different, let's say, texture method. I also worked with him with many different materials. So his shirt um, was firstly started, I feel like, I think with watercolors, yeah. And then I continued with gouache, which is a material that I just started working with. Um, same goes with the hair. I started with watercolor and then went over it with gouache. Um, and I have to say, gouache is really helpful, especially when you have, let's say, uh, paint you want to go over with, let's say, lighter highlights and stuff in the hair. Uh, gouache was very, very helpful because it's thick and it does uh, leave a very vibrant uh, color at the end, so it does show through the black. So I could see the highlights after, so, which was really, really uh, good. When it comes to the face, I did a pencil, color pencil beginning. I blended it in because it was watercolor color pencils. So I used a bit of water just to blend in the colors and see how it would end up. I realized I needed to make a bit more darker shadows if I wanted to achieve a more, let's say, distinct Elvis look. I was also missing a lot of shadows um, and that's when I uh, started adding gouache as well afterwards uh, and a bit more color than I thought. I started adding a, a few more colors like I did in Marset Amon's painting which her face has a few more let's say purple-ish tones that the actual artwork uh, background has uh, but I quite liked it. I went over the first gouache layer with a bit of a watercolor color pencil just to see if I could, let's say, add depth and stuff. But afterwards, I go over it with complete like wash and not black at all. It's like a red and a deeper kind of um, uh, red uh, tone, which gave it, I feel like, a, a lot more of a depth to an actual fabric kind of idea than a just flat layer over layer color. I don't know. I like it a little more like that. Uh, so this is where I started with the color pencil over the oil, I'm sorry, over the um, watercolor. Uh, I started working a bit more on, let's say, adding some texture to his face, which I actually quite liked. I was kind of doodling at this point once again. I wasn't sure what to go to because Elvis has a very classic and beautiful look which I wanted to achieve, but I didn't really, really know how. So I started scratching a bit of the surface just to get a bit more texture going. So I feel like that would have brought what I wanted, and it kind of did. I actually feel like th those little um, marks, when they do show through, if they do, uh, they do look really interesting, and I like them. 
So I feel like at this point I've started deciding to add a few more things. I started adding water to the watercolor black that I added and decided no I don't really like it so afterwards I started working even more on the outfit and continued and in the end I ended up working on the face as well as the letters. The letters were pretty easy with white wash. I could easily go over and shine through the whole name very very beautifully. Very nicely done. Um, I quite like how it ended up looking. You'll see continuing on after the outfit how it finished off. But it has a very nice and polished look. You always keep your eyes, let's say, on Elvis, which is very, very nice. But he also really nicely complements the background with the colors that he has on his face. I quite like it. I feel like I did it. Like, if you look at it, you do see Elvis, which is very nice. Like, from the eyes. I fixed up the nose afterwards because it was a bit too strong. Uh, and I feel like I got it a bit better. Uh, so by the end of it, I feel like I got the idea of this is Elvis, <laughs> which is very, very important because he has a very distinct and specific look, which I did want to actually achieve well, uh, since he is a very, very important uh, figure and like facial features. They're very specific. It's part of his iconic image that we all know and admire and love. Uh, so, while the fabric's getting made, I would like to explain and, let's say, say what I thought until now, exploring his music and his lives. So obviously, I knew him and his music from way before when we, <laughs> when we started the reactions, because you hear his songs basically in any versions of covers or the originals on the radio or if anyone wants to do, let's say, reminiscent of the past, retro vintage times, one of his songs will be featured. No way, it's not going to be. <laughs> so I obviously knew him, I knew parts of his songs, I loved, I love his songs. Um, one of my favorites is Can't Help Falling In Love With Him, but I did really also love Suspicious Minds, beautiful piece and the way he sings it as well. I quite like how Can't Help Falling In Love, the version that he sang in the live that we did yesterday was sounding. It was really clean and really fun, like the pace that was a bit faster, even though it's not the original after I realized and saw the original. <laughs> I was like, oh wait, no, the original is slower, so the original is that. Um, it's quite an interesting thing that you guys told me that in every performance he never actually sings the same song in the same way. It's very, very interesting in the way that it basically gives the audience something to wait for, something to be excited for, and something very exclusive to them because you never know if his performance will be more quick or more dancing or more uh, low voice or it's quite interesting to see what he experiments and what he feels like doing at the night of the concert for each song and to see, let's say, everything unfold on stage being absolutely, like, just Elvis doing his thing, like, nothing choreographed for moves or interactions. It's, it's super fun. It's like, it's like he's making a movie of his own <laughs> with his life uh, by taking his, uh, let's say, life in his own hands and not letting anything but be choreographed. It's like he's actually choreographing his own life. <laughs> and it's quite true because he became such a legend, I feel like. Because part of this is true, because he is so natural, just completely honest and just shows directly what he is <laughs> on stage. He's extremely humble and super, super fun to just enjoy listening to him with his low vocals um, but he also is really really good with his uh, lighter parts of his voice they're very very beautiful voice he has he has a very specific sound and a very unique one as well it's very interesting because it is quite let's say classic at this point what his voice can do but when you think of other artists it's not like a lot of artists these days can actually achieve what his voice does, like the deepness to the specific, let's say, accent approach as well. Like everything, if you combined everything, it's not like anyone can actually recreate or 
be that, like, be Elvis if they attempted it. They would have to be specifically, like, recreating exactly how he sounds. Um, which is quite interesting. So he's actually become a very classic voice, specifically. Um, and I quite love it because he is very iconic as a person with his interactions on stage, his iconic dance moves, which are surprisingly not choreographed. It's such a shocking like thing. They look, as I said before, half rehearsed, half not. <laughs> and I really, really like that. It's really, really cool because everyone, they just make him so approachable because everyone would just learn the moves afterwards and try to imitate them. It's perfect. He has the perfect, let's say, combination of a beautiful singer and artist, as well as being natural and being original. And always being like different on stage. It's beautiful to experience. Uh, so as you can see, I changed the face up here. It looks a bit different. I like the colors. I like the finished product. I hope you like it as well. If you're interested in finding it, you can check my email and send me a request. It's going to be on the website soon uh, as a downloadable. You can have the original if you want. I'm going to send it to you. Uh, I'm going to put it up soon. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with all this. I'm going to try and continue with his uh, songs as well. But we have a new artist next week. So just wait for that one as well. Okay, so I hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video on Monday. Bye.